Hey everyone, Daniel Vadnall, Fitness FAQs. Today I want to teach you how to do what I like to call a bodyweight bicep curl. So with traditional weightlifting, we can obviously isolate the biceps by performing elbow flexion. It's easy with a dumbbell or a barbell. When we're doing bodyweight training, we're often left with compound movements to target, say, our bicep, for example, such as pull-ups, chin-ups, muscle-ups, the list goes on. They involve multiple muscle groups, and it's quite difficult to find an exercise that actually isolates the bicep. Here comes in the bodyweight bicep curl. So this is ideally performed on gymnastics rings just because I think that the freedom of movement that it allows you is a little bit better for this movement and allows you to get a better contraction through the bicep. If you don't have access to a set of gymnastics rings, the next best thing is to find a bar that's around waist to stomach ish chest height. This will allow you to perform the exercise correctly and get in the necessary volume to get a good pump through the biceps. So when it comes to performing bodyweight bicep curls, it is very different from a row. So I want to make a distinction straight away. When you do rows, you're focusing on bringing the elbow behind you. So you're going through that shoulder extension and you're bringing the bar close towards your chest. When it comes to doing bodyweight bicep curls, the emphasis changes. We've got to think what the two functions of the bicep are. So their elbow flexion, so bring your hand towards your body like that. And the biceps also perform shoulder flexion. So we're going to get both those functions when we do the bodyweight bicep curl. And if you supinate your hands in a chin-up grip, you're going to get the third function of the bicep too. So very clear, we're not doing rows with this exercise, we're doing bodyweight bicep curl. Focus on having hip extension the whole time. So picture yourself doing the top of a bridge. You're gonna sustain that throughout the whole exercise. That's very important to maintain that full body tension so we can get good force transfer up to our upper body and ultimately get more reps. I like to take an over grip with my hands. So not gripping the bar like this, gripping the bar like that. That way you can slide your hands up, getting that elbow flexion as well as that necessary shoulder flexion. I find if you hold the bar too rigid, you can't get that shoulder flexion, which is what we want with this exercise. Make sure you get a peak contraction, a nice good squeeze at the top, lower yourself down. You'll wanna do for higher reps. So you're keeping the relative intensity quite low and doing it for higher reps because we're trying to get that pump effect, that metabolic stress to drive hypertrophic changes with this exercise. You're not really gonna get that much out of it. You're gonna cheat if you're doing the exercise for lower reps at an intensity that you can't handle. So you might be thinking, why should I be doing a bodyweight bicep curl exercise? Number one is injury prevention. If you're only doing compound exercises and your biceps, for example, are a lagging body part in their strength or their muscular development, your chance of injury is actually higher. And for those of you that are looking for maximum strength gains, if your bicep, another example, is a limiting factor for you in terms of strength or size once again, your body will not actually achieve its full strength potential because of this asymmetry or deficit that exists. Your body is very intelligent in the sense that it will hold back, in a sense, neurologically from displaying its maximum force or maximum strength if it deems there to be a weakness or a deficit somewhere. So there's definitely a benefit from doing isolation-based exercises and that's taking vanity completely out of it. Thanks guys for watching. Thumbs up the video to support the channel. In the comment section below, leave me a comment. Do you do isolation-based exercises to complement your body weight training? And if so, which ones do you do? I know myself personally to prevent injury and maximize strength, there are certain areas of the body that I perform isolation exercises. There seems to be this stigma, especially with body weight training and the purists when it comes to calisthenics, street workout, whatever you want to call it, that isolation is a bad thing. Whatever keeps you injury free and maximizes performance is what you should be doing in my eyes.